Okay, well, good evening, guys. I want to talk about finishing touches in this video and just show you some of the things that I strive to do when I'm working working these customs. So I've got a couple here. Uh, let's start with the one for Mr. Daniel. Here's the Ross Chastain, My Rewards. And um, I've got it all, uh, of course, painted and decaled, all reassembled. And I'm at that stage where I'm looking at the finishing touches. Okay? So let me, let me just show you what I do, right? So let me grab my phone here. Um, let me move this out of the way here quick. So I'm going to pull up what I was looking at here. So I was looking at some Ty Gibbs stuff, but I'll, I'll get back get back to that here in a second. Where are you? Here you are. All right, let's just close this out. All right, so he, Ross drove this this car a couple times. He drove it at Watkins Glen. I'm on Jay Ski's page here. And let's see. Yeah, so he drove it at Watkins Glen with the windshield wiper and the fuel door on the right side but I'm not making that car right I'm making this one so as you can see you've got a black spoiler and this is kind of what I'm looking at right I'm looking at the lower valence here and I'm looking at the spoiler and the roof lines that's kind of what I'm looking at everything else is is, is just decaled so I need black across the roof lines black spoiler and then here it's just red. I don't see any black. I think what's there is a sh little bit of a shadow there. So, that's what I'm trying to replicate, right? So, so I took my, left this all red down here. No change on the lower valence there. And then I went black across the top here and then painted the spoiler black. Just trying to give it that finishing touch, right? And then, of course, I've got the trunk pins and hood pins already dotted. And so now that that's all done, all I need to do is gloss it and seal it up. And that'll be it. Let's see. All right, what else we got here? Let's look at this Almarola. All right. So I got the Fresh from Florida, 2016, Almarola, again on Jayski's site. And notice a couple things. Got the spoiler, it's black, roof lines are black. And then look at the lower splitter here. Oops. I guess I'm going to have to visit. And then I'm going to have to go down and find this car. That's Bristol. Yeah, this is it. All right, so you see that lower valence there? Look at that. It's kind of got a orangish red to it. It's definitely, definitely there. So I got the roof lines black. Oh, I can do that little area there black, and the spoiler's already black, but I need to do that front red. Okay, I'll do that in a second. Let me show you what else I got going. So I'm working this Ty Gibbs. Let's go back to Ty Gibbs. All right, so I was looking at Ty Gibbs uh, Charlotte win. Unsponsored. As you can see, I don't have it matte finish yet, but unsponsored. And I'm just kind of looking it over to see. I just put some uh, coat of sealer on it. That's why it's a little cloudy right there in that little corner. But I was looking this over, looking at some of these different pictures here, right? And just seeing, seeing what I can see. And I noticed that he just has two stickers because I think this is his third win. And the decal set actually came with three. 
And so, hmm, interestingly enough, so I took my X-Acto knife and I carefully cut that off and <laughs> removed that third winning sticker. So, I could have left it on there, but I wanted it to be what he raced on the track, not what he stuck on in victory lane. So, yeah. So, that's kind of what I'm looking for when I look at, you know, making these these customs. And, of course, I'm going to have to uh, place some dull coat on that. I've got three coats of clear sealer, and I'll be putting some dull coat on that here shortly. All right, what else do I got? Show you. So I've built this. Let's go back over here. Ryan Blaney, Bristol win. And this Cooper Standard. And a couple things about this car, or this truck, right? Uh, I just painted the lower valence yellow. I didn't do that great of a job. I got a little bit too much right there. But that lower valence, I wasn't tracking. But that is uh, yellow, right? You can see very clearly that's what's there. Now you can see obviously that the, the there's a lot of brake dust on those front tires, but I'm not I'm not doing that. Um, but I do have the the yellow tires. And going through this whole thing, everything else is blue, right? Even the spoiler, if you notice, the spoiler is blue. And it has that little Ford logo. And I was able to get that off the decal set and show that little Ford logo on there. See that on the back side of that spoiler? That's kind of cool. So, again, I'm pretty happy with this. Let me see. There's another picture here of that race winning truck lower valence is yellow everything else camping world yeah pretty cool pretty happy with that but yeah guys just one of those things where when you're looking at making these customs you're trying to make them or at least that's what I try to do is try to make them as as best as I can to match what was driven on the track and those finishing touches the very end can really set you off and set your custom off as being uh, really really sweet so let's look at this Eric Almarola here again I do like to use a sharpie for the roof lines and and, um, and that's what I did for those but you can see how nice of a tip that is and so I just like to, to use that up against there so that's black there now now I've got a couple different reds and I'm gonna go ahead and use this sharpie red it's actually very interesting it it starts off kind of a almost like a pinkish orange color but as it dries, it dries, it dries red. I don't think it's as deep as this gloss red, but as you saw in that picture, it didn't seem to be a very deep red. It was just kind of a, almost like a, a, a dark orange red. But let's see if I can, if I can get this done right. This Mustang nose, you can see how it really protrudes out on there but I'm really just interested in doing this bottom area I'm not looking to go really crazy with this
it's hard to get a straight line. But what I like to do is is usually do like two or three passes at least to get a nice full color on there. And so I'll just kind of let that sit and then we'll once it dries put put another coat on there and make that really look look again like what it was raced on the track. So yeah guys, as you're making these customs, I highly recommend you know, it's it all it all depends on what you're after. If you're after something that you know is unique to what you're making and you can do whatever you want. But if you're trying to make it what looked on the track, go ahead and and look at those pictures and don't overlook these finishing touches, lower valence, roof lines, what they call the shark fin back here, and of course the spoiler. That's it for now, guys. Take care. God bless.